Okay. Right, that's that's fair. I was sitting here all day. I don't get to got a handful of marts. They're, they're back there. Um, but I never get to see this. Right, so right, right. Like, that's fair. I have no idea what to say what's, for this. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not super experienced with either of these characters. I mean, I practiced with them when I was learning the game. Or, like, practiced against them, but, like... There's this weird, like, Puff can undercommit to stuff, and Marth just has to, like, he has to commit to be able to get hits because Puff's drift is so good. But it's tricky to actually do that against Puff, so... Like, if you, if you miss the read, it just kind of stinks. Brock is just kind of training some hits here. Down tilt's not as good as it usually is, because, like... Puff's trying to stay in the air anyway, but um, Brock is doing a fine job here, just getting get the space. Yeah. Not going for the grabs that you know you're not supposed to go for, which is nice. Like having. Oh, he got one. Though. Good read though. Yeah. Having the presence of mind not to like. Marth is like. I feel like his game is is 50% grab and like 50% edge guard. I don't know what the hell he does on the stage. But. Um, ugh, get some trades, but he's not doing super well. He's getting back air and up air to death. Yeah, it's tough. Like that, oh. the mobility on that back air is so rough to fight, and like you have to command because we're all like a lot of Mars aerials just aren't fast enough to compete with the movement. Yeah. All right. See what we can do. <gasps> oh, play space. Play with space. Oh, go for the grab. Oh, the wall of back air. Yeah. Oh, just like resets. Oh, oh no. Such a tough one. Like you, you kind of you go for the di read, and if you di back, you're just getting hit by either another back air or you're waiting and getting hit by another back air. Oh, oh nice. Oh, what are you he doing? wanted it so badly. He, he just wanted it. I don't know why he wanted it so badly. Like, that was not an easy one to hit. Just wait. So we can do. Let's go. This is, game, this is a game of like super awkward neutral for Baraka. Like he, he tries to get a hit in and he just like gets attacked by like four back airs. Yeah, I mean he's used to dash chance spacing, but all right, that'll, that'll do. I mean, don't want to trade two stocks for one very often, but you'll, you'll think we can get. Uh, oh, it's tough because like Baraka wants to do his dash dancing here because he's got a great dash dance game. <laughs> get take infinite up, up airs. Oh my god. There's just so much pressure exerted on Baraka where he can't even do any of his moves because they're all they all feel so unsafe. Right. I mean, in his defense, Hungrybox is kind of a top caliber player, but also in the matchup, like character-wise as well. It's tricky for sure. Like you have to like play a weird version of Footsies with with Puff because it's not the one you're used to playing. Yeah. Like you try to go for like a, the grab, and he, he just get, like Jigglypuff just crouches in, like you get punished so badly. Yeah, or he just weaves out of it. Like you need to super commit to any of your options, and Puff is waiting for you to overcommit because she can undercommit to everything. She never commits. Yeah. Unless you get a hit confirm, and that's that's super hard to fight for a character who's like, oh, oh, oh Okay, no. let's all play under the stage for two minutes. Yeah, but, but uh, oh. I guess whatever works. So we'll take it. <laughs> all right, Hungry Box, you're crazy. All right, where does Baraka go to here? Uh, yeah, that seems fine. Okay. I don't, I don't know these. I don't know. This, I don't know either of these characters well enough to really like say anything. I mean, it's just a slightly bigger stage. It's not FD or Dreamland, so like uh, widthwise or lengthwise, I guess. Across, yeah. it is bigger. Yeah. Oh, look at that! Literally, just like whiffs a wh whiffs a hit, gets punished yeah, by four back airs and and a stock. Okay, he gets diner. Oh. <laughs> he gets like oh, just fourth of a diner. I knew I wasn't gonna kill, but I'm like, I just want satisfaction. He got like 15% off of that, and then takes 50. Yeah. I mean, it's tough. It's kind of like the um, the Marth. It's kind of like the opposite of the Marth Fox matchup, where like yeah, Fox is like running in and doing a bunch of hits, and Marth just gets big punishes. It's super the opposite. Like Marth is trying to weave, weave back and forth. I guess it's kind of the nature of like faster characters. Yeah. Is that they want to weave back and forth. Um. Feels so like awkward. Like you can't punish the back air. What, 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 like you, you can't punish. You can't punish like a, the, air, the air dodge like that. Just turning it away. <laughs> top. He definitely wanted to land on the, the platform with that one, so I was kind of unlucky that he didn't. Yeah. Box should have only been able to get a like an aerial punish, but it is what it is. Oh, there we go. Get a couple hits in. Avoid the avoid the back airs. I mean, Mars got an unspectacular shield, so Hungerbox going for the shield pokes he knows he might get. Especially since they have such big payoffs, uh, force smash. Oh, there he goes. We'll take it. Whatever. Here's what it is. Oh, jeez. 
into more back airs. There we go. Grab. Yeah, sure, just get some damage. Oh, there we go. I have no idea how that missed. Nice. Great movement there by Baraka. That was super slick. Oh. Doesn't able break out of the, of the wall back air. That's good. Uh, I mean, I think I'm fairly certain Marth can uh, grab Crouching Puff if he doesn't um, jump cancel the grab. Like, his dash grab will grab it if you space it. Um, so I think that's kind of what uh, Baraka was able to get there a couple times. Oh, well, that, that was a bad air dodge. But still able to survive, but gets rested immediately. Oh. Yeah. Unfortunate DI not being able to DI low. Like, when you're getting rested at 130, you want to DI straight down and back so you can die as fast as you can. Maybe another rest? No. Okay, good. Great presence by DI. Oh, yeah, just get out of there. Nice. There we go. Oh, good DI by Hunger Box, though. Only the weak up tilt doesn't kill him. Oh. Good grab. Let's close out the stock. Let's close it out. Oh. Oh. I mean, this is just what, like, Steel calls Marthritis, right? Like, you get them to 120 and there's just nothing combos anymore. So you're just getting, like, weak give me hits yeah, you just have to, to get like, kill. You have to get your big hit. You can't really do anything. Oh, my God. Yep, yep. That is scary as hell. Nice scrum ledge. It's like him off the top of the downer. Like, all you want is a tipper, but, like, Jigglypuff is just not in, ever in range for that. Yeah, she's not going to let you have it, and you have to commit to it. Like, that's super difficult. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Sure. <laughs> that would have been super saucy if you'd gotten it, but uh, if Baraka gets the fully charged neutral B instead, I'm okay with this. Oh, nice. Play some ledge games. Oh, oh. We did, yeah. Just pop her off the top. We'll take it. Well done, Hungry Box. Moving forward. Good job, Juan. You did it. Who do we got next? There's a Plup and Pie or a Colin and Kaike. Colin and Kaike might be pretty good. It's a Plup and Pie. Oh, we're doing Plup Pie. So, I think Plup will be going chic here, I feel. 